All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another video. It's Code Breaker Gaming back with another Dead by Daylight gameplay video. This will be my rank one DVD build of the night. And in tonight's gameplay video, we're going to be playing as a killer who was one of the base killers in the game. A killer who um, I have not had a chance to enjoy that often. As you can see, I am not a very high level with this guy. But keeping in the spirit of my DVD build of the night, I will be doing one build of the night on every killer in the game before I go through a different build and repeat the cycle anew. So without any further delay, in tonight's video we'll be playing as the Doctor. But before we get into this gameplay video, let's run over the perks, the add-ons, and the offerings. I'll be running for this particular rank one build of the night and give you a brief explanation of what you can expect to see in game. So it is very important in this build that we run a lot of gen defense with the new generator update that prevents killers from kicking a generator too many times. We have to stall generators as much as possible or regress them as much as possible without having to kick them too often. So we're going to be running for gen defense, perk number one, the merciless storm. This makes it more difficult for survivors to complete generators when they reach 90% progress or higher. All survivors, one, two, or three that are working on that generator get faced with continuous skill checks. Now if either one of them misses a skill check or stops repairing the generator before it's complete, it'll explode letting me know where they are and the entity will block the generator's progress for 20 seconds allowing me enough time to traverse the map find my way to that generator damage the generator damage the survivors damage everything in that area okay and repeat the cycle anew now after i'm done damaging the survivors in that area one of them will end up in a dying state at the moment i pick them up that'll activate perk number two thrilling tremors and at that point all generators not being repaired by survivors or blocked by the entity they cannot be repaired for the next 20 seconds and their auras will appear in white while i'm carrying this survivor to the nearest hook i'll be keeping my eye out on the aura of all generators remaining on the map now should i see a generator that still has a red aura that is very important because it's letting me know that that generator is currently being repaired by a survivor so the moment i drop this current survivor off on a hook i already know my my next target and victim will be now speaking of hooks and victims once this victim gets put on a hook it will activate perk number three and that is pop goes the weasel now once that happens the next generator that i damage which will most likely be the one that is being repaired will instantly lose 30 percent of its current progress and then normal generator regression will apply after the damage generator action this is important because i cannot kick generators too many times before the entity blocks my ability to do so so we want to make sure we have the most bang for our buck when kicking a generator and pop is one of the big ones that can do it now also what will happen when i drop that survivor on a hook it will also activate perk number four friends to the end now when i hook if that person was if that survivor that i just dropped on a hook was not the obsession the obsession will become exposed for 20 seconds and it'll reveal their aura for eight seconds now if that person was the obsession another random survivor screams and reveals their position and they'll become my new obsession the important thing about having an obsession is it will allow me to end chase sequences quicker because the obsession can be one hit down. This perk is great for keeping track of survivors, at least two, the obsession and the person on the hook. Now for the add-ons, I'm going to be running the Calm Carter's Notes. Now this increases my terror radius by 8 meters while Static Blast is ready, but it decreases my terror radius by 8 meters while Static Blast is on cooldown. So it just brings it back to a normal state now survivors with madness suffer from affliction of calm now madness level two intermittently causes survivors to hear a distant illusionary terror radius and madness three constantly causes survivors to hear a distant illusionary terror radius so it should keep them a little uh confused and anxious about where i am we're going to combine this with the discipline class three and then this decreases the detonation delay of shock therapy by 20 percent survivors with madness too while in a chase survivors perceive an illusionary red stain and terror radius as though the doctor were directly behind them this effect persists for six seconds after the chase ends and for madness three illusionary red stain and terror radius are constantly active and then the doctor also sees the illusionary red stain now this sounds fun and i don't have a lot of experience with the doctor but we're going to check this out for the first time and see how thorough this can be now for my offering i'm running in that ivory memento mario one of my favorite 
offerings to run as a rank 1 killer main. This grants me the ability to kill one survivor who has reached his second hook state by hand during the next trial. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That is the build that a rank 1 killer is going to be running with the Doctor. And with that, I'm going to ready up. Hey, and while we're looking for a match, for those of you who have not already done so, please take this time to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you turn on your notifications so you can be notified when I upload the next Dead by Daylight gameplay video. And if you enjoy Dead by Daylight and other asymmetrical style horror games as much as I do, do me a favor, tap the like button on this video, comment below who is your favorite licensed killer in the game, and I invite you to browse my Dead by Daylight playlist consisting of over 165 videos dedicated to each individual killer in the game, different builds and play styles, so you can find the build that's complementary to the killers that you've decided to main. You may also be interested in checking out my playlist entitled The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, where you play exclusively as Leatherface and his family of cannibals as they struggle to prevent victims from escaping Leatherface's basement lair and subsequently the compound to win the match. And lastly, you want to check out the Friday the 13th playlist, where you play exclusively as different movie iterations of Jason Voorhees as he stalks different campsites looking to punish camp counselors for allowing him to drown in Camp Crystal Lake as a child. These are two other popular asymmetrical style horror games that play very similarly to and are often compared to Dead by Daylight. So if you love the DVD, check out those asymmetric style playlists. Take a look at some of those videos. Leave your feedback in the comment section. Let me know what you think. But without any further delay, we're getting into this Doctor Rank 1 DVD Build of the Night. Let's do this thing. see how fun this guy is because I might I might prestige him I got to look at his perks and see how strong they are for all for the other killers to use Alright, Raccoon City Police Department. I thought that was a nemesis for a second. This should be pretty cool. Alright, so let's get right to this thing. Static Blast, Shock Therapy. Alright, so he's got two abilities. They're going to go up here first. They always do. They didn't, so they're going over to that one. See how I did that? Watch this. She's going mad. Okay, so he's fun. He's officially fun. We got that hook. So we know they're on that generator up there. They should be progressed further on that one. We're going to use our pop over here. Ah! 
See this? That's my session over there. She's going mad. Oh, this guy's fun. He is fun. Obsession. What's up, my guy? Did you help her? <laughs> yeah, we not we not playing those games today, baby. We got ourselves a fun killer. Session is all the way over here. This is this is this guy's gonna be clutch. <laughs> Sessions here. Look, oh my gosh, these guys are they're not playing well at all, huh? This this can't be real. This can't be real. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I get her on this hook, this is going to be massive. And I think I have. Oh my goodness. No obsession, though. Somebody come save them off these hooks. Like, what are you doing? Don't make me regret this. Save them. Oh, these are some. Oh, these are terrible survivors, man. Wow. That's all four of them. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm so offended. I am so offended. I'm so offended by that, man. We're gonna... Ladies and gentlemen, that is how a rank 1 killer runs the doctor. As you can see, I don't know if it was the build or if it was my play style that was highly effective, but those survivors... I ran through them like a hot knife through butter. It was it was it was pretty pathetic. Um, but yeah, if you main the doctor or you've been considering giving him a try, he is a very fun killer to play as for the five minutes that I got to play that match. So go ahead and copy that bill, give it a try for yourselves. Then come on back to this video, comment below how well it worked out for you, or if it didn't, 
but yeah YouTube also wants you to take a look at the video in the lower right hand corner of your screen or the upper left hand corner it thinks that those are the videos that you will enjoy most based on your enjoyment of this video tap that like button and we're gonna keep it pushing on to the next rank one DVD build of the night let's do it